What is up YouTube? This is Jesse here, JLS Comics, um, back with a, another video. Today is December 2nd, 2015, New Comic Day. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I am actually putting up a video of New Comics on New Comic Day. Um, this was the first day that I got some of my books from my new shop, Tate's Comics in Lauder Hill, Florida. Shout out to them. Um, actually, I should be getting my box from Midtown Comics from last week, uh, hopefully tomorrow. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. Um, I figured, I, I kind of debated whether I should wait, um, do them all together as one big haul, or put this up on uh, New Comic Day. Um, kind of excited to do that, to be honest with you. Um, and then maybe put those up, uh, the, the past books, and maybe do a little bit of review once I've read these and you know had some insight in, into the stories and the interiors a bit more than I do now. Um, so I figured that's the road I would take. Um, so um, I want to show you what I picked up today uh, at my shop. Um, the first here is Paper Girls. This is issue number three. Um, Vaughn and Chang are doing a fantastic job on this story. Um, the covers are continuing to pop. Um, I'm loving it. Um, I actually already read this. Um, I think this was probably my most anticipated story this week. Um, very good. Um, twists and turns and swerves and curves here and there um, doesn't uh, disappoint. So I'm uh, happy to have read this and I'm already looking forward to issue number four because I want to see what happens. Um, but that is comic. Doesn't We just want to see what happens next. Um, all right. So there's my image book. My Actually, my only image book for this week. Um, I have a DC book. Uh, a couple DZ books, two of them um, I'm waiting for in the mail. Uh, so I have one here, um, and then actually the rest are Marvel books. So, get into these. Uh, Extraordinary X-Men. This is issue number three. Jeff Lemire, Umberto Ramos, and is it Edgar Delgado? Uh, awesome cover. Look at that. Um, some magic here. Storm. I think that's Colossus. And that is Fire Sword Guy. Um, I like this story. I actually read this as well. Um, I think it's cool um, bringing people into this universe that they brought in a past Gene and a future Logan. And they were the ones to meet first. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and here they are on the cover. Um, always a fan of Umberto Ramos and his artwork. Um, and he does not disappoint me here with this. So. I'm definitely sticking with this Extraordinary X-Men story. Um, okay, so here we have uh, Howard the Duck, issue number two, and a Gwenpool, uh, it's the second uh, mini-story uh, that was in the back. Um, I enjoyed that story. I thought it was fun and interesting. Um, and then with Howard the Duck, that the main story, um, I liked it. Um, I got a bit lost at times. I was a little bit confused here and there. But uh, for the most part, you know, there were some funny jokes and one-liners and what have you. Um, typical of a Howard Duck story. Um, Zdarsky um, definitely does write a good Howard the Duck, uh, true to the character. So there we go. Um, Nova, this is issue number two. Um, I am waiting for issue number one still. Um, it should be coming, like I said, tomorrow. Um, I have the hip-hop variant for that, actually. Um, I really like that cover. Um... So I haven't read this, um, but uh, I will probably read it uh, in the next couple days. So there's that, Nova number two. Um, of course, everybody got this. Uh, part three of six of Vader Down. Um, I am waiting for part two. I read part one. Um, really cool setup and uh, story so far on that. Um, excellent Mark Brooks cover here. Um, really nails uh, the character image there. Um, I mean across the board on these Marvel, uh, excuse me, these Star Wars stories, they've really, um, Aaron and, and the whole team has really been uh, nailing these, hitting home runs left and right, so I'm um, looking forward to reading this, but uh, I need part two first. Um, okay, so we have uh, from Mark Wade and, uh, which Cooper is that? Is that Adam Cooper? It is indeed Adam Cooper. And uh, Alex Ross cover, all new, all different. Avengers number two. Cool cover. Got all the Avengers on there, and uh, 
it does not wrap around. Kind of looks like it should be a wrap around cover, but it's not. I um, haven't read that yet, um, but the story is interesting so far. Uh, Alex Maleev, uh hip hop variant cover for uh, Charles Sewell's Daredevil number one. Um, very cool cover there. It is the only one I got um, for Daredevil. Um, I figured why not, uh, like I said last time, get some covers that are going to contribute. If I'm only planning on buying one, uh, a cover that will contribute to some piece of my collection. And I am, uh, have a good chunk of these uh, hip-hop variant covers, so um, why not add this one as well? Um, I'm expecting it to be a good story. Um, the preview was really good. Um, back in that uh, free comic book day uh, story. Um, was that where we saw that? I believe so. Um, anyways, uh, cool cover. I'm looking forward to a good story here with this. So, here's my uh, only DC that I have today. Uh, I'm waiting for the, the Harley and the Green Lantern um, poly bag, black bag books, um, and some other stuff as well. But um, for today, uh, the only DC book that I got was this uh, here, uh, issue number one of two, uh, Robin War. Um, and it's cool. It's got like a glossy, thick cover to it. Um, I don't really know anything about this story. I, I've read like just a little bit on it. I don't even know if it is strictly two issues or if there are tie-ins with some of the books. Um, I did like Court of Owls, however, so um, it, there's obviously a tie-in to that here. Um, and then we have a whole crap ton of uh, people on this creative team. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven last names there. Um, interesting art. We got some, uh, you know, sort of talking head sort of people that we've seen in uh, some of the Miller stuff. Um, looks interesting. Um, I like that first page there. Good way to start it. See that? Boom. I am Robin. Looks cool. Hope it's a good story. Like I said, I know nothing about it. If you do uh, have some more insight on this, uh, definitely let me know down below. I'd be happy to, to read that. And, um, and I'll talk about it some more. I'd like to learn about that one some more. Um, and then last but not least, uh, I did get the Totally Awesome Hulk Marvel 92 variant. Uh, just a really cool cover, I think. Uh, there we go. Just wish it didn't have so much glare on it. There we go. That's by Dale. Oh, I can't. This kills me trying to say this last name. Dale. Dale Keown. Um, he did work with Peter David actually back in the 90s on Hulk. So perfect choice to do this. And um, I know him mostly from his work on Pitt. Um, but between those two characters, definitely a perfect fit for a... Um, a variant cover, right? Um, just think that is a really awesome cover, and um, he does not have that mohawk, right? Um, there's been a ton, ton of different Hulks, um, you know, She Hulks, Red Hulks, Gray Hulks, um, Hulked Out Heroes, all kinds of Hulks. Um, but um, this is cool, it's Amadeus Cho as Hulk, uh, and I'm really curious how that happened, A, and B, where the heck is Dr. Bruce Banner? So those are two questions I'm looking to get answered in this book here. Um, but that's all I got for you today. Um, you know, let me know what you think down below in terms of these stories, and especially on this one. I'm, I'm really curious what you guys thought of this, um, or if you know more about the story, what's involved with it. Um, you know, like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff that we always say all the time. Um, I'll probably have another video up in the next couple days on my prior haul, as well as, um, excuse me, yeah, my prior haul, and then, you know, whatever comes in the mail, so stay tuned for that, um, and I will see you guys in the near future. Peace.